Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Thank you for joining us today. I'm your host, Mason Smith. We're going to be covering a Frontier game of Ultimate Frisbee today. I think this might be the first time or one of the first times we've done this. Um, so, uh, I can't imagine all that many people know all the rules of Ultimate Frisbee. I certainly don't. I was educated just a few minutes ago. So, I'll share my knowledge with everyone listening right now as we kick off the game here. So the way that uh, the game pretty much works is each team is trying to score points. It's very much like football where they're trying to get to an end zone. They can't move once they have the disc though. Um, and they've got to pass it down the field uh, to get into their end zone and score a point. Halftime occurs when there is when one team gets to eight points and the game ends whenever someone, whenever a team gets to 15 points. 15 to win in this game. And there's a nice pass from Brady Birch up to Seacard. Seacard looking to pass it back up and Birch drops it. There's going to be a turnover now. Four Rivers with it. There also is a time limit for how long you can stand with the disc. And a nice catch there by Brady Birch, advancing frontier. Well, let's call it the red zone for sticking with the football analogy. Datar looking for someone. Backhand to Tavo. Vincent Warner, he's going to drop it. And another turnover. Four Rivers needs to make up some ground here. It goes right through the hands of Ben Tardiff. And a nice catch by Birch again from Datar. Looking to pass it up to David, and there he is. Point scored for Frontier. Both teams will take a little breather as they reset, go to opposite ends of the field for Let's call it throw off, maybe? I'm not sure what they call it. There's probably a right term for that. Flying mostly blind here. Looks like Seacard's going to throw it off for the Red Hawks. Waiting for the signal from Four Rivers. Four Rivers has a few games in their pocket. I heard that they came, they uh, just came off of a tournament that they played. This is Frontier's first game of the season. So, really great for them to be in the lead at the very start of this game. There's the signal from Four Rivers. And here's Seacar to throw it off. Hits the ground and rolls back. Four Rivers passing it up. Some nice quick passes. Look at that. Sandberg passes it off. Back to Appel. Isaiah Goldman. Pass up. Almost dropped. What a catch there. Looking for someone to throw it up to, and there he is, number 32, Ben Tardiff. David Frazier playing some tight defense, and Birch smacks it out of the air. Nice play there. Pass over to Seacard. Daytar, they're going to take a few steps back with that play. Fake to David Gray, and a nice floater over to Brady Birch. Frazier gets it on his knees. Daytar up to... Nico Lorantos. Frazier. Back to Lorantos, and they'll check it in. Datar. Motioning to C card. And he's going to have to pass it back. Frontier loses a little ground, but gets it back up with Brady Birch. Birch looks like he's going for Daytar. 
And he'll toss it up. There's C card. And that'll be another point for Frontier. It looks like a little bit hard to tell from this angle, but I think they got it in. Yep. And Vincent Warner is going to be uh, checking out of the game. Will Petrin going to be coming in for him. A few subs as well for Four Rivers. Cooper Whitney. Mayor Dragon. Hope I'm saying that first name right, but we'll just call him by his last name because why wouldn't we? And Will Cowie. Signal from Four Rivers that they're ready to receive. And Daytar is going to hurl it down at them. Gets a little bit past half field in the air and is going to roll a ways back. Oh, it looks like it rolled out of bounds, so they're going to be moving it out. And Birch checks it in with Appel. Nice toss forward. Jumps up over Matt Seacard to grab that. And that'll be a point for Four Rivers. What a beautiful pass. So that'll be two to one now. As Will Redding is going to come in for Frontier. Nico Laranto is going out. Once again, halftime is going to occur it's like 15 minute break I'd assume uh, halftime occurs when uh, the first team first team reaches 8 8 points and then there's going to be a halftime first of 15 wins this match Frontier's got 2 on the board and 4 Rivers just got their first a lot of seniors on Frontier's team I think there's only let's see There's four sophomores, I think a freshman. All the rest of them, about 12 or 13 of them are seniors. Four River signaling they're ready. Frontier responds and here's the throw. C card lets it roll by him. Struggling to get it to someone. He's going to try and get it to David Frazier, but it's going to hit the ground. A little bit of an overthrow. And the wind's picked up here. So now Four Rivers has it. Pass up. There's Goldman. And he'll get another point. It's a tie game now. It's a little bit hard to tell when they score. Don't have the best angle here. We're sitting right on the sideline along with all of the parents and rest of the spectators Miles Ferreira subbing in for Frazier Frontier receives the throw off. C card, Brady Birch with it now. Ferrer takes a little bit of a tumble and pass back to Daytar. 
Birch up to Ferreira. Back to Daytar. Fake throw to Ferreira. Looks like he's trying to connect with him, though. And here's Birch back to Daytar. Almost loses it there. And Daytar up. There's David Gray. William Redding. Pass back to Birch. C card. C card swiveling. Nice fake there. Relieves the pressure on him a bit. And Redding wide open. What a move there. C card. Looking for Daytar. He's going to find him. Daytar trying to find someone who's open. Backhand up to Ferreira. C card. Redding. And there's another point for Frontier. They're going to take the lead back. It's 3 to 2. Naya Dugan going to be coming in for Frontier. Looks like Will Petron's going to come off for him. Now, I might be wrong about this, but I think that Ultimate Frisbee is not labeled as an, as an official sport at Frontier. I'm not sure about Four Rivers, but I think at this point in time, it's still a club. That's what it's considered which is why Frontier doesn't really have any like uniform sort of jerseys. You can see that they're all, most of them are wearing slightly different shirts. Almost all of them have some sort of blue or black on them so they can differentiate from Four Rivers white jerseys. I would assume that Four Rivers has, this is an actual sport for them. Not that it's not for the players on Frontier, but considered by the school. Anyway, here's Brady Birch signing off with a nice strong throw. Good ways past midfield. Four Rivers gets it around David Gray. Looking around for someone that'll pass it back. David Gray tied on the pressure. He's motioning him for to come up. On oh, some nice moves there. He's open. He's going to send it down. Redding to defend. And it's going to get over his head. And another point for Four Rivers. Yet again, a tie game. 3-3. Three to three. Benaya comes out after looked like he slipped a little bit. Might have. Might just want some recovery time on his leg or something. Looks like Quinn Woods came in for him. Four Rivers coach giving his team a little bit of a talk as both teams have a little time to rest. Pretty throw right there. Just floats right into the hands of Brady Birch. Frontier's going to go right to work. Dates are. Covered by Tardiff. We'll get it up to Ferreira. Some quick passes. There's Seacard. Long pass down the field. It's Redding all alone. And what a move by Redding. Oh, and what a catch by Quinn Woods to give Frontier the lead again. Three to four. That was a great drive there by Frontier. And a very nice catch by Quinn Woods to bring it home.
Four Rivers gives the signal to Frontier. And Seacard gets it down to him. Appel. Pass back. Atticus Peters now. I like that name. There's Cooper Whitney. Covered by Daytar. And a nice pass up there to Goldman and a little bit of a too long for Caleb Bird Richards. So that'll be a turnover as it hits the ground and Frontier got has the disc now. Oh, and Ferreira jumps right through his hands. Peters checks the disc in and throws it forward. And just like that, it's another tie game, four to four. There's a throw to start Frontier's drive. Daytar taking his time to pick it up as it goes out of bounds. At least look like it did. Yeah, they'll move it up a little bit. Check it in. Pass up to Gray, back to Daytar, and a long throw to Redding again. He's getting open. And it looked like he hit the top of his head, but he couldn't reel it in. Seemed like he was a little off balance, and it would be Four Rivers disc. Peters checks it in. Scooping throw right there. That was nice. Whitney, nice fake and a low pass. Dragon's gonna bring it up. Appeal. And Bird Richards as in now. Pass up, there's Peters again. And Goldman. He's got a few people in the end zone right now, but he'll pass it back. And a nice catch by Goldman. Good connection there by Four Rivers. That's going to tie the game back up again.
There's the signal and the throw. And the wind's just going to carry it away. <laughs> you know, the spectators, too. So Frontier's going to have to check it in. Halfway to midfield. Birch. Has to pass it to Ferreira. Back to Birch. Daytar, they gain a few. Another long pass. Oh, and what a snag there. My goodness, Caleb Bird Richards. And he's got it again from Cooper Whitney. Appel. Up to Goldman. Whitney now. And they'll get it in. Looks like they got it in. Little bit of a disagreement it looked like, but Frontier accepts the point, looks like. I think that'll put Four Rivers ahead. Yeah, I think it's six to five now if my count's right. Signal from Four Rivers. <laughs> it looks like Frontier's coach is going to want to come out and talk to her team. <laughs> Just do a lot of subbing right there. There's the signal again and the throw. Gonna go to C card. Up to Birch. Birch covered by Bird Richards. And a backhand over to Daytar. And smacked out of the air by Ben Tardiff, it looked like. So Four Rivers will check it in. Peters with it and he's going to pass it in to Ethan Sandberg for the seventh point. Four Rivers run away from scoring eight which would send us to halftime.
Vincent Warner getting subbed in for Marcus Larson. Signal from Four Rivers answered by Frontier, and the wind's going to take that disc. Almost out of bounds. Seacard will grab it. Up to Ferreira. Oh, and it goes, bounces right off his chest, it looked like. So it'll be a turnover. Bird Richards has it now. And a pass up. Barely not in, it looks like. They're going to be judging it. Sandberg with the reception. <laughs> Looks like Four Rivers coach is going to be going over to talk to his team. Honestly not sure what's going on. I'd guess that they're counting it as not being in. Doesn't seem like we're breaking for halftime, which would have happened if they had scored. Message delivered to the Red Hawks from the coach by Henry Maxey. Teams breaking from their huddle and it. Yeah. Not sure what the huddle was about, but maybe maybe it was a timeout or something. I I really don't know, folks. <laughs> let's let's go with the timeout then. Sandberg, covered by Datar. He'll have to pass it back to Bird Richards, and he'll send it in. And there's the eighth point for Four Rivers. Isaiah Goldman. So eight to five is the score as we go into half time if my counts right. Frontier trailing by three. And we'll be back in a few minutes with the second half of this ultimate frisbee match. I think it's a match game. Something. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. The wind's dying down a little bit. So no doubt that's going to affect the movement of the disc out there. It's the second half of Frontier's ultimate Frisbee matchup against Four Rivers. Four Rivers up by three, eight to five right now. First team to 15 wins, just as a reminder for those who are just joining us or are unfamiliar with the rules. I'm one of them. Um, looks like Frontier's going to be 
starting with the disc. Waiting for Four Rivers signal to start. There it is. And Brady Birch sends it off for Frontier. Received by Appel. Bird Richards fakes the throw. And he'll get it up at leaping catch there by Isaiah Goldman. Oh, and a diving catch by Appel to keep the possession alive for Four Rivers and they'll get another point off of that, nine to five. Four Rivers strengthening their lead and Frontier's gotta come up with some sort of effective offense for this next attempt at a point. Birch receives the throw, pass up to Daytar. Back to Birch, Daytar, they're just going back and forth and here's Lorantos, disc smacked out of the air. And here's Appel, nice pass up to Broderick, back to Appel, Broderick slows it down a little bit. Sandberg has Broderick behind him. Frazier on him now. And Bird Richards. Pass back to Broderick. <clears throat> Appel. Peters. Back to Appel. Sandberg. Some nice defense by Gray as well. Disc is going to end up on the ground in a turnover for Frontier. Daytar. Daytar checks it in. Gray with it now. Swivels around and gets it to C card. Lorantos. Lorantos spinning around, gets it to Birch. Tight coverage by Bird Richards and Daytar with it now. Throw a little bit behind the back for Frazier. And a long throw for Broderick is going to go out of bounds. It's the softball fence. Gray passes it to Seacard. Seacard. Up to Daytar. Daytar gets it to Birch. Covered by Bird Richards. Tavo gets it now. A little bit behind the back, but he's going to reel it in. 
Frazier, his pass meant for him is intercepted. Appel, Broderick. And another point for Four Rivers. It'll be 10 to five. Frontier needs to change something more in their defense than their offense. Got close a few times. Just got to follow through with the momentum. And I mean, I'm not really one to talk. I don't know much about strategy in this game or anything like that. Signal and throw. Going to go way off into the baseball field, it looks like. Seacard's <laughs> going to have to go after it. Redding and Goldman having a nice chat over there. As Seacard's going to check it in just past midfield. And Ferreira all alone will pass it back to Seacard. Birch. Daytar. Oh, and what a grab by Seacard. Diving into the dirt to get a point for Frontier. First time in a while. 10 to 6 and he broke the disc <laughs> he dove right on top of it and broke it Signal from Four Rivers. C card sends it off to him. Throw goes off the sideline. Checked in by Broderick. Pass up to Bird Richards. Covered by Birch. Nice fake there, and he's going to get it up. That's Goldman with it now. Looking back for Bird Richards. Broderick. Whitney. Oh, and what an effort by Gray. That'll be another point for 
four rivers. Yep. It's hard to make these calls, man. I'm like right on the eye level with the ground almost. Not used to this. <laughs> Eleven to six. Four rivers on top. Benaya Dugan subbing in for Will Petron. Whitney sends it off. And it'll go to Matt Seacard's feet. Pass up to Redding. I'll have to backpedal a little bit. And I'll hand it off to Birch. Birch. Oh, what a grab by Ferreira. Dates are. Oh, and David Gray slips right through his fingers and it's going to end up on the ground. Broderick. Pass up to Whitney. Broderick again. And a hammer throw. And an easy pass in. Nice connection from Goldman. I think that was... Yeah, Jude Dragon right there. That's 12 to 6 now, I think. So Four Rivers just three away from winning the game. It's an interesting aspect of this board that I didn't realize. No time limit on it. I mean, I suppose within reason. I mean, like... Well, who knows? I mean, I guess it depends on how serious the people are that are playing and how serious the match is. I suppose if they had some sort of championship, they would let it go on all day, all weekend, if they really if they really wanted to. Four Rivers sends it off. Birch to receive it. Up to Daytar. Birch. Gray. Covered by Cowie. And now here's Daytar. Pass up to Fernando. And Marcus, looked like he was going to Marcus, but Birch speeds ahead. On a foul. At least that's what everyone was screaming. Not sure what it was. Amir, his pass knocked down. Sandberg over to Broderick. Abdil. I don't know why I said Abdil. Jeez. Sandberg. And a short little pass over to Will Cowies. Gonna make it 13 to 6. Temperature's dropping out here on the field as the sun goes down. Got to put an extra layer on. Four Rivers sends it off. 
That does got some height on it. And it'll drop. Birch picks it up. Daytar. Back to Birch. And he'll send it up. One-handed grab close to the ground by Quinn Woods. Oh, and Fernando with some nice defense there. Daytar picks it up. He'll send it down the field for Redding. And the wind isn't going to help him out on that one. That'll be another turnover. In favor of Four Rivers. Disc is checked in by Peters. Atticus Peters sends it up to Jude Dragon. And Appel. Back to Dragon. Back to Appel. Appel looking for a long pass. Stopped by Datar there. And a pass back to Broderick. And a low catch there by Dragon again. Broderick. Up to Appel. Pass up to Peters. Peters and now Sandberg. Sandberg claiming it's a point, a little bit of a dispute on the field. Looks like they're going to keep it. That's four, 14 to 6. Yep. Fourteen to six, four rivers, four rivers. Oh my God! <laughs> four rivers needs one more to win the match or the game. I still don't know. You know, this is a lot better than the first time I tried to announce field hockey, though. No clue what's going on there. Four Rivers sends it off again. And looks like it's going to go into the fence of the baseball field. C card checks it in. Long pass, and Birch is going to get it. Pass up to Lorantos. Nice fake there. C card with it now. Four Rivers is caught up to Frontier's fast movement up the field. And pass up to Redding. And Lorantos brings it on home for another point for Frontier. 14 to 7. Little glimmer of hope for Frontier. Four Rivers ready to receive. There's Birch to send it off. Wind's going to carry it in good way. Right into the frontier bench.
Atticus Peters to check it in against Quinn Woods. He'll send it up to Goldman. Already a big gain for Four Rivers. They'll pass it back though to Appel. Appel up to Mare Dragon. And a nice move there by Goldman against Lorantos and Appel. He's got no one on him. Daytar moves up. And the pass floating down. And caught by Goldman. Oh, they're not counting the catch. He threw it away. So Frontier turns it back over. And a long pass. Smacked down by Daytar. Frontier's still in it. Wow. That was an interesting turn of events right there. I thought that they had it in the end zone. Daytar to Redding. Redding looks for Birch. Gets waved off. Up to Seacard, and what a diving play by Broderick. As his face slams into the ground. Goldman pass back to Appel against Lorantos. He'll pass it up to Atticus Peters. There it is. I think that'll do it. Isaiah Goldman with the 15th point for Four Rivers. So Four Rivers comes away with the win. 15 to 7. If my count's right. A nice show from Frontier on their first Ultimate Frisbee game of the season. And I hope we get to do this again. This was a lot of fun. So thank you all for joining us. This is Mason Smith, Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eckel, all the rest of the FCAT crew signing off. And we'll see you with volleyball tomorrow night. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television.